In this video, I'm going to talk about how to improve your writing skills. There are only three things that you need to remember to improve your writing skills. The first one would be to write every day. The second one, use tools. Third, express your thoughts in another format. The first one is to write every day. What are you going to write every day? Where do you start? Start about yourself. What do you like? What do you enjoy? Where do you live? And then, you know, write more details about that. If you're gonna talk about where you live, well, I live in Paranaque, General Sukat BF Homes Paranaque area. So I live there and there's a lot of things that I, so what do you do in Paranaque? Like, you know, you can go to SMBF, you can go to the restaurants around BF, like you can keep expanding what do you do? What what do I enjoy doing? I enjoy tinkering with a computer. So I do a lot of things with a computer. I like writing. I like research. And, you know, just keep talking about all those different topics. Even if your notebook is just this small, this isn't a notebook. This is more of a notepad. You could squeeze in a few words or you could squeeze in a few pages if your notebook is this small. If you have a bigger notebook, maybe you can just write one page or half a page. That's okay, you know, but write every day. The more you write, the more you can express yourself. Write stories that you can share. Write stories that you usually share with friends. What stories do you share when you meet people? Write about that. Or at the very least, if you're just starting out, write a list of stories. You don't need to write the stories immediately. You could write the story later. You can write the long version of the story and then, well, this story's a little too long. Maybe I could write a short version of that story. Or maybe your story is too short. It doesn't have enough detail. So write the long version and then write the short version of the story. Write every day if you have the chance to see my computer. My computer has more than 50,000 notes, 50,000 text files and like well no not really it's more of like 20,000 text files and I have 40,000 so since we now have a smartphone it has a nice camera I just take a photo of the things I've written down so I can come back to it and read it later and I encode it if it's important so yeah just photos of notes tens of thousands of photos of or well, now it's 50,000 I've been doing that over the years so I guess every year I have 10,000 notes you know, things that I write. If something interesting comes to mind, write it down. Things that you want to do, things that you plan to do, things that, you know, generally just come to mind. Write it down. Practice writing it so you can communicate it. Because you can't communicate if you don't have the words. You can't communicate if you don't have the sentences. And the best way for you to have words and sentences is to write, okay? If you... You know, if you try to jump into speaking with another person, if you're talking to someone interesting, if you're talking to someone who asks good questions, then that's great. You know, it's easy. But if, what if your friends are introverts too? What if your friends are, you know, not good at speaking, not good at maintaining a conversation? Then, wala rin, right? So, writing is my backup plan. If I don't have anyone to talk to, so I don't have anyone to talk to, I'm going to talk to myself. How do I talk to myself? I talk to myself by writing. So write every day. So the second tip about how to improve your writing skills would be to use tools. I typically teach my students a format where you want to use shorter sentences, you want to use simple words, and then I use tools. I use grammar check tools, the one that's built into Google Docs. I also use Grammarly. I have the premium version, but you don't need the premium version. I have the premium version because I need it at work. I use tools like Grammarly so I can get suggestions on how to say things better. Okay, or you could Google. You have one short sentence. Try checking if other people have used that sentence. And if it looks okay, maybe it is okay. Uh, I also use a recorder. One advantage of starting a YouTube channel is I've gotten a lot better at speaking because I end up having to watch my videos. And if I say something like one of the most common problems when I speak is I usually have so and then I pause for a long time and I think with um and then I realize that doesn't sound very good. So I stop doing that. I, I do my best to make an effort and stop with the long so um when I'm thinking. Hmm. The other thing, so yeah, I've replaced it with hmm. And, and then I smile and I look at the camera. So in the same way, you can also do that. Use a recorder. You know, if you're a little more confident, use a video recorder like what I'm doing now. 
If you're not very confident, just use a voice recorder. And I have a bunch of things. I have a bunch of, like, if I have some thoughts, and I try speaking about it in English, and then I try to listen to myself and write it down, and then I try to improve upon my message, and then I try to read my edited version into the recorder again, and then listen to it and listen to how it sounds, and it just keeps getting better. Because the more you tell a story, the better you can tell a story. That's one of the things that I learned in sales. The more you get to tell a story, the better you are at telling that story. So in the same way, if you don't have a job, the more you introduce yourself, the better you get at introducing yourself. So if you don't have a lot of money to go to a lot of interviews, practice writing and then practice speaking your story into a recorder and then listen to it. And then point out, what are my mistakes? Fix your mistakes on paper, read it again, tell the story again, tell the story to a recorder, listen to your story. It sounds a little better, but I can improve it. So repeat the process. Keep repeating the process until you improve. So use tools. Use, um, use Grammarly, like a grammar check tool. Use a recorder and express yourself in another format. So your stories need to have a long version. Your stories need to have a short version. Your introductions, your introductions need to have a short version and a long version because sometimes people don't understand what you're talking about. Sometimes people do not have your education, do not have your training, so they need you to slow down and explain things. If you are tech savvy, you're going to realize that, you know, if I tell, if you're tech savvy, I'm going to say that this is an Apple Watch or this is a smartwatch and you're going to understand. But if you're not tech savvy, and if I say smartwatch, you don't understand. I need to explain it. A smartwatch is kind of like a computer the size of the watch, and your watch is connected to your phone, and a smartwatch is generally a fitness tracker. It listens to your heartbeat, your pulse rate, and it tracks whether you're asleep. And because it's connected to your phone, you can see messages on your watch. You can answer phone calls. It has a lot of other functions. You can control your phone using your watch, which is really cool because I can keep my phone inside my bag and I can answer calls using my watch. And I can just put on my headphones and just control everything from my watch. That's what you can do. Practice the short version practice the long version that's why if you look at my videos i have the really long explanations and i have short videos like these these are my ideas how you can improve your writing skills if you have any questions just leave a comment or send me an email like if you're one of my students you know my email address send me an email and i'll answer your questions via email i'll also do my best to record a video so i can explain it in detail what do you remember write every day the first one is write every day the second one is use tools the, th the third one would be to express yourself in another format that's it thanks very much i'll see you in the next video Bye bye